Hi, I'm Barb Young. I'm an attorney with the firm of Golan and Christie. I've been practicing for just over 30 years, and the past 20 of which has been in the areas of commercial litigation and bankruptcy. I'd like to talk to you today about your options in terms of filing a bankruptcy, both for an individual and for a company. Individuals have basically three choices. They can file a Chapter 7, a Chapter 13, and in rare instances, a Chapter 11. A Chapter 7 allows you to focus on a point in time, come into the bankruptcy with whatever assets you have, anything that's not exempt gets distributed to your creditors, and you hopefully get a discharge. The discharge is the brass ring, and it's what allows you to walk away from your liabilities. A Chapter 13, on the other hand, is more of a payment plan. It's similar to a debt consolidation. You have to contribute a certain percentage of your income for the next three to five years and pay your creditors a certain percentage of the obligations that you owe them. A Chapter 11 is only used for those individuals that have either substantial assets or significant income that needs protection. For corporations, you can either wind up your company with what's called an out-of-court assignment for benefit of creditors. Your assets are assigned or transferred to an assignee. He gives notice to your creditors. The assets are liquidated and distributed. The company is shut down. Alternatively, you could do something similar in a Chapter 7. The difference there is that it is a formal bankruptcy proceeding. A trustee is appointed. And again, notice goes to all of your creditors, assets liquidated, and the company is shut down. Alternatively, a company can go into Chapter 11 either to liquidate or to reorganize. The main difference is that in Chapter 11, you operate as a debtor in possession. So you, the company, have control over how the bankruptcy process operates. And in a reorganization, you can propose a plan. And as long as one class of creditors votes to approve the plan, you're able to reorganize and stay in business. I caution you to consider each of these options only after speaking with an attorney who can help you decide based on your specific situation which is the best for you. I also encourage you to get uh, more information about TMA, Turnaround Management Association. I myself have been an active TMA member for several years and have gotten huge benefits both in terms of educational opportunities, networking opportunities, and just the friends that I've been able to make through the organization. It's helped me both personally and professionally. I encourage you to get more information, get active, and get involved. Thank you.